man what's up with it it's been a long time i know i shouldn't have left you i shouldn't have left but you. i had to i had to check in with my people's man make sure that this story that i'm going to deliver is uh thorough thorough making sure that i can consider um you know a lot of perspectives other than mine making sure that you know not just within my circle but those that are outside the circle um have uh, their opinions and concerns and ideas heard too and I had to do that I had to get with you know all sorts of, of people all throughout the community okay so yeah man this is really unfolding into a life of its own man for real it's pretty exciting but at the same time a little uneasy um, but you know um, it, it, it is what it is you know what I'm saying when it comes to street gang culture but, um, you know, I'm here for a purpose, though. You know what I'm saying? This is not just a wind up my ass and I'm just like, you know, OK, let's talk about the streets. And nah, nah it goes deeper than that, man. And and, and, and and if I can save a life, homie, you know, see, that's what it is. OK, believe me, hear me on this one. You know, I get the question, Rat, you out there like that? Hell no, nah, I ain't out there like that. Crazy as fuck to think I'm out there like that. No, no. I mean, for real, for real. Uh, the the times that I'm out there doing the little videos and shit like that, I am praying and I am checking in with my wife, and, because it's real out there. You know, I got I got a lot of history there, man, and a lot of you know uh, un uncovered bones. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to like bring them bones out, man, and and bury them right with you know people that I've uh, terrorizing and. and and just, you know, making it hard for, you know, a lot of people out there in the streets at a time when I was banging, you know what I'm saying? So if I can, um, you know, share my experience, strength and hope, man, and and bury these bones the proper way with, you know, people that I've, uh, you know, um, I'm talking about Thunder Hills, man. Let's get the bullshit out the way. You know, I really do feel like, you know, that um, the gang banging that was happening around the early 90s with Thunder Hills, man, has to come to a rest. And I was explaining it in videos when I was, you know, throughout the turf. And uh, just so happens that I came across them. Now I'm gonna get into the story, but before I do, um, I gotta bring you up, you know, to speed for how it, like, how it all started, okay? Um, you know, I gotta take you from the jump, man, no cuts. And I will bring you into the second interaction, meeting up with Thunder Hills two days ago. So this is, again, like, you know, taking on a life of its own. And, um, yeah. and I'm for this, man. I'm with this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to deliver it in my little artistic ways, but I got to have something to stand on, right? And what is it that I need to stand on? I need to stand on it with education. It's education. It's education. Okay. And that's where it, you know, had started. Okay. I'm going to have to take you to the beginning, man. Hear me out on this one, all right? Man, these street me. politics, man, is no different than government politics. A lot of people are affected by, you know, two gangs colliding. We know that. What I see, you know, that's the next man over. You know, oh, this guy, he lost his, his parents, you know what I mean? And, and now his parents lost their son. There's all these little, you know, horrible things that happen from extended... Um, you know from the people that we that we have no uh, you know consideration for and those guys have also feelings and we have to consider those guys you know if their resentments are strong to accept and and forgive or or you know then okay hey then we can all be on the same page but all it takes is one person man to kind of like you know just just shit on it and just say you know what i ain't with it and just you know sour the whole bunch those are harsh realities that we have to figure out you know as a community and i'm not saying that i'm the only martyr let's go rat you know you're the one to save the world fuck that i can't i don't i i mean i by the grace of god you know what I'm saying he could show me and guide me in the direction that he wants this me. is actually the life that it's taking on is just being available just being accepting of whatever happens god it's your deal let's roll okay but I do got to take you to the beginning of it all. Now, how does this all begin? Now, education is for real, for real with me, all right? Now, I've always had history in my back pocket. It was it was socially unacceptable, you know what I'm saying, to kind of bring up in front of your homies like, yeah, you get down on history and certain events and you really studied that shit. But I'll tell you this, man, 
a lot of gangbangers have a little passion in them of whatever it is and that's what will bring them out if you can i can if you can open up a channel if you can open up something inside that you see inside of them and you bring it to life it may click something that's what did with me when i was banging okay so i didn't have nobody to bounce off history and education with until i got jumped in with one of the homies man i just was like okay we can get down on this history we talking actually we was talking like you know we was one like for real and you know besides gang banging we was really you know interested on how things evolve how things process um and and, and all of that and come to find out that the homie went to school for it you know what i'm saying he's going not that he went to school for it he was he, later on he was gonna go to school okay so he's sharing and bearing you know what i'm saying he's sharing and bumping off these facts with me and i'm like you know wow homie yeah for real but i was already in my madness and i couldn't get out of it just yet so um you know i mean the homie was going through his madness too but you know we were still in tune with you know what education meant to us and so that was a good you know breaker for me to absorb you know and be taught and teachable right okay so that's when I go into AA and I learn all this about myself. And I'm like, damn, homie, okay, I can dig it. And it shows me a new light. I still live by the AA program, homie. I rock Alcoholics Anonymous program till today. Believe that. In a meeting on a nooner all day, every day. So this is how much I learn and soak up gain from Alcoholics Anonymous for the last eight, nine years. Okay, so I had to expand on this. How to take it farther and beyond, man. Because this isn't just, you know, throughout the ages, but I'm I'm seeing my loved ones, I'm seeing my peoples, you know, I mean through a big epidemic of heroin abuse through the through the early nineties, all the way to two thousands, homie. So shit, yeah. You know, when you see these just unfold in front of your face, man, you're like, you know, where's where are we going with all this? And and gangbanging included, you know, and, and people that you know, prostitute and, and, and people really do some dirty, foul shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll be one of them. And, and where does that, where does the cycle end? And it ends through education. It really does. I believe that now. And when I was, uh, when I was hesitant on bringing my, uh, my, my enthusiasm with history to the table, it held me back. You know what I'm saying? So here it is now that I'm on fire for it, homie. Let me just homie, tell you. 21, 21 is a wrap, it's Druvo. And I'm talking about that. I just aced uh, a, a hell of a history class, man, um, for eight weeks course, homie, at Maricosta wasn't no joke, for real. I was on fire and he got A's on that, homie, on everything I love. And when I was crying about that, man, real talk, cause I ain't, I ain't been in college for a minute, homie. And, and I'm really like, you know, on fire for this. I'm really passionate about this. I'm really wanting to stand on something. And education is something to stand on. And if it's anything that I want to stand on, it's passion of history, homie. I mean, straight up, as equal as I was involved with um, culinary arts and, and, and holding it down in, in that right there, homie, is equivalent to how I feel about history and education. That is a groundbreaker right now to see where I'm going with this, okay? This whole little project is having to take flight in, in just a passion, okay? So I can cover my history, my passion, and delivering it through, you know, these videos and stuff like that. But I could shoot this shit all day. I could talk this and, and talk on a micro level all day, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, in one jail institution to the next, um, to, you know, one recovery rehab to the next. But you know what? On the real, I'm trying to get on a macro level. I'm trying to get there where 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 this this corner of my life and your life can be heard on a more universal level. And that's through education. Now, education is a universal level. Everybody across the world's gonna hear you if you have some education that you can stand on, right? And see, it just so happens that I'd be passionate about this already, so it's a win-win. You know, and, and really though, what I'm trying to do is have a project in line, which is my own little storytelling and bring it by the time this is done, hopefully that I can actually be, um, who knows? Let's just say that. Who knows? I mean, right here, man, this is where it starts right here. I'm going all the way to the top with this. 
I'm going to go in. I mean, right now I'm in a, a bachelor's program right now. Okay, believe that. I'm on fire for this and I'm hungry for this. I ain't playing with this, man. And this is because of, you know, my history and because of where I've came from. And this gang banging culture, homie. Um, like back in the day, man, the game, we would say, you know, the game is to be sold, not told. But, you know, I mean, I'm putting all this work in for it right now that my hands on experience had already paid my dues. You feel me? And so I'm already like, you know, on a, on a, on a, on a, up, on a, on a, on a, on a I'm already on the way, homie. Let's just say that I'm on my ways. And on, um, I got to get miracles to college, man, the EOPS staff right there. Um, you know, just supporting me, man, and, and blessing me, man, for real with that money. Really, though, because, you know, the more we put into this, you do get paid, man. So hear me out on this, man. Ashley, good looking out. And my one, man, my wife, man, you know, she a brainiac. She's over here supporting me, getting me ready for college courses, man, making sure that I'm college material. And, and, and our home, man, is colleged up. You know, we're about education right here. My wife ain't stopping, man. You already know how she get down. My kids are thriving. I'm not saying that they the brightest. In fact, anyways, that's a different story. Or something, but we love the kids, okay? Rat, love the kids. Um, but yeah, man, it's about this right here, man. It's about education in my home. And we going forward. We're telling you this story right now about what had just happened a few weeks ago and what happened actually two days ago. I'm going to bring it to you right now. But I'm glad you got to hear me out on this one right now. Glad that you got to see what this is um, taking off into and, and how this is evolving because this is history, you know. Talking about the bitty on Bloods, homie, it, it, it is just, you know, the, just the beginning, okay? And, and, and everybody, man, I mean, shit, man, let's jump on this one, homie. Come on now.